Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I made this creative perspective illusion with a picture in Adobe After Effects. So let's jump right into it. First let's see the original shot. I film myself holding a piece of green paper with some tracking marks on it. Then I pretended to put the picture in the right place. I also made sure that my fingers were not covered by the paper when the hand goes out of the frame. Since I had a camera on a tripod the whole time, I could just put it on the ground and bring the tree into the scene. Then I picked up the camera again and walked to the tree. And that's all we need. Before we get into the editing, I would like to mention a great resource for all filmmakers and editors, Envato Element. It's an amazing tool for all creators, offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's dive into After Effects. I place the shot on the timeline. To make this work we basically need to take one frame from the moment when the tree is already in the scene and track it onto the green paper to make it look like the picture was there since the beginning. So I'll duplicate the shot and reduce the opacity so I can see both layers at the same time. I'll put a marker right there and trim the layer. Now select the main shot, search for Mocha EE and apply it to the layer. The finger could confuse the tracking of the paper, so let's isolate it first. Draw a shape around it with the Explain tool and start tracking. You might have to adjust it manually from time to time. Next draw a shape around the paper. Put the finger layer on top of the layer pile. Change the amount of used pixels and enable to track perspective. Then you can start tracking. I'm tracking it backwards. Then reveal the planar surface and adjust it accordingly. Once the tracking is done, save the project and close Mocha. Back in After Effects, duplicate the tree shot and freeze it. Next, draw a mask around the paper with the pen tool and pre-compose the layer. Click the region of interest button and draw a shape around the mask. Then go to Composition and select Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Go back to the main comp and use the power pin effect to stretch the picture and fill the entire frame. Now go to the beginning of the timeline and in the Mocha effect click Create Track Data with the correct layer selected. Choose the Export option and Layer and hit Apply Export. You may have to adjust the picture with the power pin effect to make sure it lines up with the background perfectly. To make the transition seamless, animate the opacity of the shot with the tree to go from 0 to 100%. Next, to get a finger on top of the picture, duplicate the main shot and bring it to the top of the timeline. Use the key light effect to key out the green paper. For the last couple of frames before the transition, I use the Roto Brush tool to isolate just the hand. Additionally, we need to bring back the shadows and reflections of the paper. For this, we can create a mat using our track photo replacement layer. I duplicated it, pre composed. 
and filled with white color. Then I duplicated the main shot and placed it below the matte layer. I used it as an alpha matte, applied the tint effect to it to make it black and white and used soft light as the blending mode. And we already have some shadows. You can play around with the brightness and animate the opacity to make it disappear before the transition. Furthermore, I removed the tracking marks and added a subtle reflection using a simple white solid with feathered mask. Finally, I added a bit of noise to the picture so that it blends better with the background. To top it all off, I pre-composed all layers together and added some additional fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.